In this presentation we're going to look at ANOVA procedures for regression. So we're going to look at a sort of an example from a chemometrics course. So this is to do with analytical chemistry. Uh, NIR spectra and octane numbers are, were extracted from 26 gasoline samples. Actually that's the key piece of information we need actually from this bit of text that there was 26 uh, gasoline samples. The NIR spectra was measured using diffuse reflectance from 900 nanometers to 1700 nanometers in 2 nanometer intervals. The, this resulted in 401 different wavelength values and essentially, okay, so that's a bit of chit chat there, but essentially researchers were particularly interested in whether there was a relationship between the uh, three of these uh, wavelengths, uh, 1098 nanometers, X1 is a uh, we're going to call it from now on, uh, 1298 nanometers x2 and 1498 nanometers x3 and the octane number of the gasoline so we have three predictor variables that's the other key piece of information that we are interested in how many predictor variables uh, okay so there's a more uh, there's stuff I chopped out because uh, I'm only particularly interested in the uh, ANOVA procedures for this particular presentation uh, the re following regression model was fitted so that actually confirms so I'll just slide that up there. That confirms our model of three predictor variables and this is the reg uh, regression equation. I'll actually just write this down actually. I'm particularly interested in the ANOVA procedure table. There we go. So I'm just going to sort of slide this down. That's going to be important now in a while. Um, let's just go down here. So what I want to do is I'll, I'll just do it over here to the one side. So y hat or I'll do that in black pen, y hat equals 125.16 uh, plus 109.25 x1 plus a uh, minus 38, that's a, that's a minus sign there, uh, let's see if we can get rid of that, minus 38.25 uh, 37x2 uh, minus 108.88x3. That's the regression equation. You might, I might, you might be asked to uh, write that out. You can also explain what the, the variable names are. That's a, uh, just a sort of key uh, to sort of say, give a little uh, uh, explanation as to what these are. For example, y is octane number and so on. Okay, don't forget to do stuff like that in case you are asked. Now what I'm particularly interested in is the next bit is this analysis of variance table. So we have a partially completed analysis of variance table and what we have to do is complete the analysis of variance table. So that's the key thing of what we're going to do today in this presentation. So I'm just going to sort of get myself set up again. There we are. So this is my ANOVA table. Okay. And I know I have some of the values here, but I'll just talk about what we have here. So source, degrees of freedom, sums of squares, mean square, and f test statistic. Those are the column names. So sums of squares and mean square and f. Now, degrees of, uh, sorry, the sources are, I'm going to just call them, uh, stick to these two names always, regression and error. And down at the bottom we have total degrees of freedom. Now, the predictor, uh, the number of predictors is degrees of freedom for, um, uh, I'll just put this in the red pen, so the number of predictor variables is the degrees of freedom for regression and n minus p minus 1 is for regression ANOVA is the number of um, is degrees of freedom for error and lastly n minus 1 actually I'm just going to sort of scratch those dots there out of it, n minus 1 is the overall degrees of freedom and that's that's sort of common to all ANOVA procedures that the total degrees of freedom is n minus 1 okay so if we seen earlier on that there was 26 uh, n here is going to be 26 so n minus 1 is 25 okay p is also 3 there's three predictor variables so the answer to this one is 3 the answer here, I'm just going to uh, superimpose it on top there, is 25, okay, 
and n minus p minus 1 is 26 minus 3 minus 1 and that is equal to uh, 22 okay whoops so don't know what happened there so n minus p minus 1 okay so the answer there is uh, those are the degrees of freedom for uh, regression error and total okay now the next bit we are given is uh, we're actually given a quite a bit of information for this next one okay we're actually given in this question we're actually given all of the sums of squares values but let's just say for argument's sake I was only given the regression and the total so I'm just going to write those one in, uh, those answers in just bear with me a second so I just included them there in my uh, uh, table so let's just say for argument's sake I wasn't given the last value well the uh, degrees of freedom for regression and error should add up to total likewise the sums of squares so 90.503 that's a 5 there doesn't look like it I'll just r write it in again oh there uh, some stuff in the back. Okay, uh, so what would bring you up to 92.257? Well, you could just a little bit of uh, calculator work. You find that the difference there is 1.754. Uh, okay, now the mean squares are the sums of squares divided by the degrees of freedom. Okay, for both cases. So this is going to be 90.503 divided by 3. Okay. So let's just calculate that in. Okay. Sorry, it's just some old text there. I'm gonna. It. Uh, I didn't delete it properly. I've actually just painted over it. Anyway, so when I divide that down, it is thirty. Oops. Uh, point uh, five zero three. So that is one six. Uh, seven one point six thirty point one six uh, seven six 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 okay now likewise I have to do the same thing for the mean square for error I divide one point seven five four by twenty two uh, calculator work I get zero point zero seven nine two no, seven. No, I'll just write that in again. Nine, seven, two. Okay, five decimal places, doesn't matter. Now, the F statistic, test statistic, is the ratio of means. So I divide here, I divide 30.167 divided by 0.0797. Uh, I get the answer I get is three seven eight point four one approximately. Okay, so that is my F table all completed. Now there's a couple of questions I could ask other than that. For example, what is the variance of the response variable? Okay, variance of the response variable y. What is that? Well, how do you work that out? SS total divided by n minus 1. Okay, so if I multiply, it, okay, so it is 92.257 uh, uh, divided by 25. Okay, remember this is n minus 1 over here. Okay, so again, a little bit of calculator work and just bear with me a second I get 92.257 divided by 25 uh, 3.69 okay that's one potential ask question you can get asked uh, and also you might actually be asked the standard deviation of y also or uh, what could happen is that you might actually um, uh, be given the standard deviation of y you be expected to, to compute the variance, okay, and from that deduce the uh, given the sample size as well, deduce the sums of squares for total from those values. That's uh, completely uh, to be expected. Um, so let, I just just for the sake of completion, square root 
of 3.69028. The standard deviation will be 1.9921. Okay, so just what I'm saying here is you might be given this value. Okay, what you could do there is square it to get 3.69 and then use this um, here this formula here to find out a uh, 92.257 given that the sample size is 26 okay so the sample size is 26 so n minus 1 okay uh, something that you might also be asked is to determine uh, I'll just go to a blank page when I find one here I'll just do it here let's get rid of this the coefficient of determination is uh, or it, it might in like in a, it might be called multiple r squared is a multiple r squared I'm just going to get rid of that I've no blank pages on this thing for some reason uh, what I'm going to do here is the multiple r squared is r squared and that is the SS regression over SS total okay and that is 90.503 divided by 92.257 that's it's a straightforward enough calculation but you just have to know that formula uh, working that out you would get 90.503 divided by 92.257 uh, 98 point zero, 98, 9.9809. Okay, that'll do. 98.09%. All right, that's a regression ANOVA.